Hi you guys, this is your favorite pretty girl, pretty girl peeps. I am here with a hair video. You guys have been asking for a while, where are the hair videos? I just really haven't had time to be honest. I've had so much going on and I've really been trying to step into my fragrance bag. However, your girl is back as you can see and I am rocking this outre. This is the Nisha in the style H305 and this is in the color 1B and this is 18 inches of fake sewing girl okay because sometimes you just ain't got the money sometimes you just ain't got the time so if you want to see how i achieve this look then of course just keep watching hi you guys it is your favorite pretty girl pretty girl peeps here with a quick 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 half wig situation um and i'm just gonna get right into the video um you guys asked for more hair videos and i have a hair video this hair is going to be available in my amazon store the link to that will be in this in the description box so make sure you are on the lookout for that and i'm just gonna zoom away let me do it because i felt really close up on y'all so zoom away just a little bit so the hair is going to be by Outre. This is the Outre Quick Weave Self so Styled in 60 Seconds. This is from their Nisha collection. They had these in wigs, but they hadn't came out with them in the half wig style. So this one um, lays flat and it requires less leave out. So this comes in about 20 different cut. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten colors. See, I was about to get to lying and say it came with 20. This comes with about 10 colors. I got it in 1B for now, but I'm probably going to try it in the DR2 Honey Brown at some point um but again this retails depending on which color you get i got mine for about 25 dollars because it's just the color 1b and i'm just quickly going to show you guys how i style this wig well half wig should i say quick weave however you guys want to say it um and this is what the card looks like the little i don't know what you call these but this is what the card stock card that's what the stock card looks like and i'm just going to take the little wrapping paper stuff off of it and take the paper from the inside and this one is supposedly going to lay flatter than the other quick weaves and I can say looking at the front already you can see from the construction it does appear that it's going to lay a little bit flatter and I really do like the curls in it as well so like I said hopefully this part will not really take um, that long and just going to go ahead and get it you know done. So, let's see. And my daughter lost my little cap thingy. So, we're going to hope this is all coming live and in color. And I'm just going to give this a little gentle wipe, like so. So, hopefully, I'm coming in clear for you guys. I'm going to take my eyelash scissors and I am going to cut the tag off the back of the hair. Y'all know y'all supposed to cut the tag. I know y'all know that. And I'll tell you that. So then we got our lovely stock card. I'm gonna put that to the side. And then I'm gonna show you guys the, the inner construction. It has um, a big clip back here and then the adjustable straps. And then there are two smaller clips up front. So I have a tiny head, so I normally don't really adjust the straps like that. Cause like I said, I have a tiny head and this is what the curls look like. So they're really like gentle body wave curls, really natural. So as you can see, I already took the liberty of parting my hair and leaving just a tiny, tiny bit up front. Um, so I guess with it laying flat, that's supposedly why it's, you know, cool in the game. So I'm going to attach it right there i don't braid my hair because i don't know how to braid like if we're being you know brutally honest about this thing i'm just going to put this in the back of where i put that ponytail and kind of adjust it as needed to kind of make it fit so this is just raw on so it's super cute and then i think before i kind of play around with it i really do like these curls but I'm kind of going to comb them out, but I'm going to wait until I like flat iron this front part. And then I got some of my little, um, she is bomb wig stuff and I'm going to like lay everything down. But first things first, let's see. First things first, I want to spray some heat protectant on this little, you know, it's a tiny bit, you don't, still don't want to kill your, your hair. So we're going to spray some on this leave out part. 
And I think I'm going to do either a going all back or some type of side part. But like I said, the most important thing is spraying it with this heat protectant. And this is by Tresemme. It's a Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant Spray. And then I just got my Remington flat irons already perking up, ready to go. So I'm just quickly going to just do some little going to the back feathery type of curls. Nothing too crazy. We're just going to, you know, do enough to make the style work. And then I had grabbed some of that synthetic here. We ain't trying to burn it. So took that out like so. So all the little parts that are out, we're going to kind of curl going towards my face. Like so. Just curling it towards my face. And I'm going to use, like I said, some edge control in a second. But so far, this is super duper cute. I really like how it's coming out. And I'm actually getting a real quick weave in like less than a week. So this is kind of just like a protective style to hold me over because I don't want to put a lot of heat in my hair like I kind of want this to be one of the last times that I do put heat in my hair if that makes sense I want this to be one of the very last times so so yeah that's that so I don't have too much more to flat iron and again I'm trying to flat iron this towards my face kind of give it that feathery curled type of look and once I get that established, that's when I will actually quickly do my edges. Oh, that was, it was hot, y'all. You girl almost got burnt on camera. So I'm just going to take that. Y'all probably can see the heat coming from that. And I'm just going to play around with it until I get it where I want it. So let me kind of look at my actual mirror. It's kind of hard because like I said, my daughter stole my thing. And this does, I will say, lay a lot flatter than the old school joints used to. And I'm just going to pull apart a, a little bit of the hair to kind of spread it out like so. Kind of make it blend a little bit better than what they, they have going on. So yeah, it's going to take a little manipulation. I think just because normally when you do, you could do like, you know, the flip over. But because of how flat this does lay, it is semi difficult to do the flip over method. But we're going to, we're going to do it though. But yeah, because you see how I did the flip over, I kind of got to balance the curls myself in a sense. So then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this wig glue stick thing and I'm just going to lay this whole part down so it's not as bumpy up there. And then this part, it should help it kind of blend together like so. And so then I'm also going to use this on like my edge part. So like right here, right here, right here. And right here, we're just going to, since it's what I have right now, I don't know where my edge control is. So we're just going to improvise and I'm going to use this to kind of blend all this together, make it look like it's, we are a family, giant tree, reaching out for the sky, we are a family. And then, like I said, I just want to do a little finger combing of the hair. One, to kind of lay it down a little bit better. And then two, to kind of get those curls going the way we want. Kind of like a natural quick weave look. So this is kind of what I came up with. Um, and I like that I probably can do, um, I think I need to like, yeah, lay that part down just to kind of blend into that part a little bit better. I don't know if you guys saw what I just kind of did. I just took a little bit more of the hair out right there. So pretty much this, you could wear it like this. You probably could wear it up and like up, down. You could wear this in like one of those little cute ponytails that everybody's been doing from like the 80s and the 90s. You could do one of those joints. So you'll probably see me rock this a couple of different ways this week. Um, so again, this is the Nisha. This is in the style um, 
H305. I think I forgot to say that. Um, and this is in the color 1B. It comes in a couple of different other colors. This is their quick weave. Um, and this is actually heat resistant safe up to 400 degrees. So if you want to put some wine curls or some flexi rods in here, you definitely could do that. Um, and on the stock card, they show the 1B and then they show the um, dark root honey brown, which I think is going to be the next color that I actually get. And yeah, this is the Nisha H305. This is by Outre. I got this on Amazon. It came within one day. Uh, so make sure you use my Amazon store. And on me, this goes down to about here. Um, I'm about 5'5 five five for reference. So yeah, um, I thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is your girl, Pretty Girl Peeps. Um, if you want to see more hair videos, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more videos in general, um, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below that you like this video. One of these days, I'm probably going to try to do like a giveaway on one of these. Um, actually, you know what? Pause. We're going to do a giveaway. If you want this wig, I'm only going to do either 1B or what's the basic color? 1. You can get in 1B, 1, or 2. I need you to comment below. And then I need you to share, screenshot something this video on your either Facebook or your Instagram. And just comment done in the comments. And... Uh, I'm going to pick a person out of the comments to send one of these to for free. Yes, you will be getting one of these for free. So again, thank you guys for watching. This is your favorite pretty girl, pretty girl peeps.